What we got, guys? What we working? College, man. College. So college, right, guys? <laughs> college is tough. They just take our money and then we owe after we graduate for a shit job. But college is a good time. It lets you know who you really are. When you go to college, that's when you find yourself. You in there, you broke, you struggling, you experimenting sexually, you just out there on the streets, you feel grown for the first time, you're failing, you're passing. It's a lot going on, you know what I'm saying? You're changing your major, you're filling out financial aid, paperwork, Pell Grants, the Department of Black Programs, Hispanic Studies, now you're, you're in different groups now. You're joining choir, you're gay for like one week and then you come back. You're joining sororities, fraternities, you're leaving while people are talking. It's a lot going on in college, man. All of this happens in college. You're falling asleep in class, you're sitting in the back. What I never liked about college, the teachers always moved around the whole class. Remember when you could hide in the back? College professors, they were like, and, and in what way did the economic shift? How did that affect the Industrial Revolution? Like, I thought I could hide back here. Nah, man, I'm moving. You could hide in high school. They was moving around. I hated those teachers that came in arrogant. Like, they first day. 70% of y'all are gonna fail this course. Like, God damn, I know I'm in that 70%. I'm out. Why would you start the course that way, man? Open your syllabus. Turn to the back page. You're failing. Nobody passes my class. It's like they take pride in it. You're a trash teacher, man. What else we got? Man, get off me, man. Los Angeles, man. Sick of LA, man. LA is overrated, man. Ashy ass skyline. Got the worst skyline in hip hop. You ever do your little hike, then you get up there? Ha. There's Los Angeles. Where? I can't, this dirt, filth. I can't make out the buildings. The only time you get a clear shot is if it rains. That's the only time you get a clear LA sky, man. LA has two different skylines. It's got the one downtown, and then it's got that extra one with the diehard building. It's weird, man. It's supposed to be consolidated in one area. LA. You got the worst downtown in hip hop, man. Trash. How you gonna be the second largest city in America? Downtown ain't even hot. We over here, we in Hollywood. Downtown's supposed to be the place to be, but nah. And man, but if you homeless, downtown LA is cracking. It's, it's popping if you homeless, man. It's 50 million homeless people in downtown. The people really be living downtown. A whole homeless community out front. You come outside, excuse me, excuse me, sir. Every morning, I'm like, how you living down here, man? They be having their little tents set up. I'll be like, God damn, man. You turn one corner, you be like, shit. <laughs> it's funny about LA, when you first moved to LA, I, I grew up in the Midwest where you know you in a bad neighborhood. LA will fool you. Cause even the bad neighborhoods look relatively nice compared to the rest of the country. You're like, oh, you got a lawn, grass, okay. You, whoa, oh, they shooting out there? You doing it. In the Midwest, it look like abandoned buildings. Like, man, they tearing that down tomorrow. We live here as a family. Oh, shit. You still in there? Oh. Put, the bull, put the bulldozer back up. I ain't know there was a family in there. LA is a tad overrated though. It's cool and all, but it's, it's a tad overrated. You know what I'm saying? And the prices, they're just making up rent. <laughs> One bedroom, 8,000 a month. Come on, I'll show you around. <laughs> all right, that's done, that's done. It's the whole apartment, this. Here you see hardwood floors. All right, all right, then come on back. 8,000 a month, no bath. <laughs> no bath yet, we got the Chevron on the corner. All right, I'll take it, I'll take it. You're in the heart of downtown. <laughs> like 87 homeless people in your lobby. What else? Book bands. Who? Book bands. Oh, book bands. Yeah, that's, that's nerdy. <laughs> book bands, huh, guys? Man, they banning books. 
Reading books puts me to sleep, man. Nothing puts me to sleep faster than cracking open a nice novel, huh? I'm out of here. As soon as I open the page, it was 1915. Prohibition. I grew up reading comic books. If they ban comic books, that's when I'm raising hell. They start throwing comic books in the fire, that's when I'm showing up. I'm like, this is outrageous, Spider-Man, Venom. Would you do this? The uncanny X-Men, they had some shit to say in those books. I've read, read a few books, though. I've read Steve Martin's book. I've read uh, Charlie Murphy's book, Common's book. Tried to read It by Stephen King. That shit was biblical in size. Like, Stephen King was just talking his ass off. A lot of talking and racism in the Stephen King book, man. Low-key sliding it in every novel. They didn't like blacks. Like, what that got to do with anything? Why you throwing that in there, Stephen? What you got to get off your chest? I feel the same way about Quentin Tarantino, man. He be throwing that N-word in every goddamn movie he does. I'm like, man, what you doing, man? What else we got? And ooh, you was ready for that. She was like, I'm gonna get this. She, was, she was waiting. She was looking at y'all. She was like, anime, goddamn. Anime is a good time. They just cry too much in that shit, man. <laughs> <laughs> they be crying for 15 minutes, man. I'm like, shut up, man. Where's the action at? I'm all action, man. Stop crying so much in anime, man. Turns me off. Because I got introduced to anime. I think the first anime I ever saw was Fist of the North Star. And I was like, yo, his head exploded. They died. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't used to that. I I grew up on G.I. Joe and, like, you know, Transformers. They never died in episodes. G.I. Joe, they shooting. Everybody missing. They talking. So, dude, what we going to do, man? All right, you going to cut around the backside. I'm like, man. War looked like a good time. Nobody hits. But then Transformers, the movie, the cartoon movie where people died, Optimus Prime specifically, tore my life in half as a kid. He died. I was like, no, man. <laughs> Prime. He turned black on the, on the table. I was like, and it was that anime style of animation for Transformers, the movie. Because I think anime has some of the best animation in hip hop. You know what I'm saying? And so. But anime will take it there. It'd be full sex, titties. Cause I, I, Ninja Scroll is my favorite anime of all time. But it was mad sexual in that joint. I was like, man, it's going down in here. So I was like, anything goes in anime. But then, then it could be cute and then it could be weird. And I don't like the way the Japanese portray black people. I don't like how they I don't like how they make us look in video games and anime. It'd be like, we just fools to y'all over there in Japan, huh? I didn't like the visual. We all dancing, smiling, and happy with big ass mouths. I'm like, man, fuck this. That's how y'all see us in anime, man. I always noticed that, man. So anime, I'm extremely picky because it's a lot of whining and crying. But Demon Slayer is pretty good. But he be talking too much. Just get just get to fighting, man. Just fight. Hush. What else? The Batman. The Batman? Is that the new one? Yeah. With uh Robert Pattinson is Batman. I feel like Robert Pattinson never gave me man vibes though. He's more he's more like guy, bat guy. He should be bat guy, the bat guy. Robert Pattinson gives me guy vibes. You know he's a grown man, but he's a guy, you know what I'm saying? Just just a guy. He's not giving me man. Cause when you Batman, you a man. Like I need to see that underneath right here, man. But Batman come in, cause he all chin and lips. Man. I think Batman's lips should be ashy too. That lets you that lets you know he don't give a fuck. Coming in, ashy lips, like, hey, what y'all doing in here? Crime, huh? Oh shit, his lips are chapped. Cause if his lips are moisturized, you ain't gonna be scared. He got shit to lose if his lips are moisturized. If Batman had ashy lips, you know it's going down, man. He gonna break our necks, man. His lips is ashy. But I'm looking forward to the Batman. I've, been, I've avoided all trailers of the Batman. 
Every time I'm in theaters, it comes on. I look down. I get on my phone. I don't want to see any visuals. I've been hearing it, but I haven't seen. Oh, I saw like the teaser, where he was just beating somebody. He was beating the shit out of somebody. Like, Ooh, yeah. Because I feel like Batman can always step the fight choreography up. You know what I'm saying? As good as Christopher Nolan Batman movies were, the fight choreography was just shaky cam. They was cheating. They was like, oh yeah, he's really moving. <laughs> That's how fast he is. You don't know what just happened. Like, come on, let us see. Let us see the moves, man. That's my only gripe with the Christopher Nolan. Well, actually, I don't like how Bane died. That was some bullshit. And then the old girl had a horrible death in The Dark Knight Rise. She was like, uh, uh. <laughs> You want an Oscar, that's the best you got. <laughs> the best Batman fight scene in film that I've ever seen is in Batman versus Superman yeah. when he went to go get uh, Martha Kent. That's the best time, Batman was killing people, he was breaking, he was ashy lipped. <laughs> and he was putting the work in. That's what I wanna see in this new bad guy, you know what I'm saying? And I like Zoe Kravitz's Catwoman. She's sexy, you know what I'm saying? Catwoman's supposed to be sexy. She's supposed to be like, oh, god damn, Catwoman, you know what I'm saying? Like, Anne Hathaway doesn't give sexy vibes. She gives intelligent, good conversation, <laughs> college-educated book bands. That's what I expect from Anne Hathaway. Though with Kravitz, though, I'm like, oh, oh, yeah. I can see Batman like, man, what you trying to do with Zoe? Anyway, that's my time, y'all. Thank y'all so much. Thank you, all I'm bringing up Jeremiah back up here. I'll uh, keep this mic. Huh? Keep it going for Tony Baker, ladies and gentlemen. Good times. Good times. Yeah.